Hi students, welcome back. Let us continue with the relational calculus. In the previous video, I explained about uh, the basic what is relational calculus. So now let us see uh, triple relational calculus. Let me write the definition for this triple relational calculus. This TRC is a non-procedural query language. Non-procedural query language in the form of in the form of t by p of t so this is a tuple relational calculus is this is a non procedural query language in the form of t by p of t so here it is a set of all tuple steel it is this set of all tuples so here the t you call it as t uh, tuples you call it as t the rows so here this is represent a set so that's why it is a set of all tuples t such that predicate p is true for t so p i already said p represents a predicate means it is uh, checking whether the condition is whether it just takes uh, satisfying the condition means whatever they want means just true things or the false uh, it is a set of all tuples t such that the predicate p is true for t only uh, this predicate is true for on those tuples so whatever the tuples we are selecting so on those tuples, it is checking whether the condition is true or false. So, only the true uh, attribute tuples will be taken by this query. Okay. So, this is the definition you have to be right. Uh, whenever you ask about that, what is a tuple relational calculus? So, you have to write it is a non-processual query language in the form of T by P of T. And T is nothing but a tuple. Now, coming to another point. So, T is a tuple variable. And T of A, let us take T of A denotes the value of tuple, value of tuple T. So, in the tuple T is nothing but it is a one row. In that row, T of A is just a value. If you take any table, okay, just take T is a tuple, okay. So, T of A so a is this is one attribute t of a is the value in that attribute so t of a denotes the value of tuple t on attribute a and one more point always t belongs to r r is the relation t belongs to r denotes that tuple t is in relation r so whenever you have seen that t belongs to r or something uh, attribute belongs to r means it's nothing but those elements are present in the table belongs to means it they are present in the table so here tuple t is in relation r and whereas p is a formula p is a predicate it is a formula similar to that of predicate calculus means just an expression it's saying whether it is a true or a false okay so this is a, a steps you have to follow while you're writing the tuple relational calculus means just you have to write this uh, query language it is a non-procedural query language and you have to expect what is it uh, express what is a t and what is a p of t okay. Now let us take that uh, some predicate calculus formulas. So I said P is in a formula similar to that of predicate calculus. Let me write that uh, predicate calculus formula contains. So what it contains that predicate calculus formulas contains attributes. And constants comparison 
operators so this all you already uh, explained in the introduction part so whatever the relational calculus you are taking the relational calculus is consisting of some attributes and constants comparison operators like less than less than or equal to equal to greater than greater than or equal to and not equal to okay and some connectives so connectives in the sense like and or not okay these are the connectives and some implications it uses this relational calculus uses some implications like this uh, this is a symbol imply so here imply is, is nothing but if suppose x implies y what it means so this if x is true then y is true so this can be expressed like if x is true then y is true then you just say x implies y okay or else you you can also write x implies y is similar to negate x or y so both will be the same you will get the same answer so the predicate calculus formulas contains attributes and constants comparison operators connectivities implications and one more thing is the quantifiers so these calculus use the quantifiers so what are the quantifiers quantifiers are nothing but there exist and for all there exist and for all these are the two universal quantifiers so there exist can be expressed like if suppose there exists t belongs to r q of t means just a simple expression so what it represents so it is similar to there exist there exist a tuple so t is a tuple a tuple t in relation r a tuple t belongs to r means a tuple in relation r okay such that such that q of t is true so this is a meaning for this uh, expression so this is a unit quantifiers so when, when we, uh, we use this quantifier to express this equation so the meaning for this equation is there exists t is a tuple this tuple is in belongs to r means is in relation r such that this q of t is true nothing but a predicate okay this q of t is true suppose if i given for all for all t belongs to r q of 2 what it means so this similar to let me take another pen this similar to q is true for all so this is a symbol of for all q q is true for all tuples t tuples t in relation in relation r so this is the meaning of these quantifiers so you have to express like this so whenever you want this statement you have to express the relational calculus like this so there exist and for all are the quantifiers these are the uh, formulas predicate calculus formulas contains all these attributes means the attributes and constants comparison operators connectivities implications and quantifiers so let me explain one simple example so i had just given a small thing like uh, explaining like that uh, there exist and for all you know the meaning of there exist and for all now see here the examples for the triple relational calculus so in this example they are saying that uh, suppose find the names of all instructors so i want to find out all instructors name whose department is in vatstan building so those instructors are present in a department is in vatstan building so this statement can be uh, this statement is expressed in the term of triple relational calculus so t is a tuple so that we have to be selected so there exist s so s is uh, a relation which belongs to that relation belongs to an instructor so we have to find out the names of all instructors so that's why s belongs to instructor so the triple name means one domain one value that value is equal to s name and there exist another uh, relation that is u belongs to department 
so in that also you have to be check the department name is equal to s of department name and the building should be in Vatstan. So, the, it has to be satisfied these conditions. So, whenever it satisfies these conditions, it displays uh, the names of all instructors. So, S belongs to instructor. So, it displays the names of all instructor. And so here you can see the another example. So, here the find the set of all courses taught in fall 2009 semester or in spring 2010 semester or both so we here we have to check three conditions we have to find out the fall 2009 semester or in the spring 2010 semester or both we have to find set of all courses so that's why s belongs to section so set of all courses means t course of id is equal to s course of id and semester should be fall in fall this is one condition and the year should be 2009. So, this is completely one statement. Now, coming to or next statement. Or this section, this co, uh, U belongs to section T of course ID is equal to U of course ID. And U of semester should fall in spring. And that should the year should be in 2010. So, then it displays all the set of courses that fall in between 2009 as well as in 2010 semesters and complete or both means whenever you select the both it displays complete information so this is how you have to write the tuple relational calculus expressions thank you